So what can I build just using a cheap computer mouse and a drain cleaning rod? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Terrain by Aaron. Thanks for stopping by. So I was in my local Euro store the other day and came across these two items. A computer mouse and a drain cleaner rod. I paid my three euros, took them home and left them on the bench until I'd figured out what I could make out of them. And as with all my work, I don't start off with any real plan. Just a tiny idea and I let it roll around my tiny little head for a while until a plan slowly forms. Two days later, I have an idea and I get to work. So I basically gut the insides of the mouse just to see what I can use on the inside. I'm just basically test fitting stuff and seeing what would look good um, and what wouldn't look good. The plan is to try and use as much as possible from the insides of the mouse. This is a bit of a leftover model kit that I'm farming for greebly things. That's an actual term we model makers use, well maybe. Here I'm going to use the, uh, the roller bit to make the front look a little less like a mouse and plus it fits the uh, front plate nicely because it's got a nice little round indent in it. So I'm just test fitting the little plastic plate, cutting away the little pieces on the inside so I get a better fit and then stick it into place. Uh, yes, I am using a drill bit that is way too big for the tiny pretend Dremel. But I eventually persevere and made four holes. This is possibly the worst pretend Dremel I have ever used. The tiniest bit of pressure and it cuts out. It's ridiculous. I need to buy a new one. And um, a chest plate from some really bad Transformer knockoff toy. Um, I'd used them for a previous build on something else, so I just thought it might make the back interesting and a little less like a, a mouse. Uh, the black fan thing bit, yeah. The other half was asking the other day where the fan had gone from the kitchen. And I had actually said that it was broken and I'd thrown it away. Uh, let's hope she doesn't see this video. And I'm still trying to just bulk out the back of the uh, mouse to try and make it less like a computer mouse. 
So I'm attaching the uh, knockoff transformer armor. Oh yeah, Q-tips. Unfortunately, these were the paper ones because the plastic ones are a lot harder to get now. I'm going to use these as like piping of some sort. Trust me, it'll look okay once it's painted. Just finishing off the greebly bits and then the back will be done and then we can move on to painting. I lost some footage here but uh, I just added some uh, sticky beads all around the edge to make it a little bit more interesting. So that's the main bit done now and I figured less was more and it was getting late so I moved on to the legs. And this is the uh, drain cleaner pipe metal thing. Um, I'm going to cut four legs and then uh, use them as the feet. These green wires are uh, what you use for holding plants or flowers together and they were just the, the right size and just the right length to make the legs a little more interesting than just being blank. So I'll do that on all four legs and then I'm going to paint them way to black. Onward with painting. Uh, I'll hold my hands up and say I am useless at painting and after watching Bill Making Stuff and Andy Mecca on how to paint rust, this way seems to be the easiest way. So I start off with a brown acrylic and just paint it all brown. Okay, so I'm using um, the other half's hairdryer. I may have had a slight accident with it before on a previous build and I assured her I wouldn't be using it again. 
but she'd nipped to the shop so I took advantage of the opportunity. I'm just drying off the paint, touching up where it needs to be so that I can get onto the uh, main colour. So I'm using green as the main colour and the idea here is to paint but leave the edges brown so it gives the appearance of rust. And as you can see I just go along carefully dabbing away trying to not get all the edges. problems with the camera again and as you can see I used transfer for the number and masking tape for the line then using the back of my uh, craft knife I scratched away at them both to give it the worn look um, after that I painted the front bit yellow um, just to give it a little contrast and here I am now sticking the legs in and we're almost ready for the glamour shots. So thanks for stopping by and watching this, uh, this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. And um, hopefully I'll see you around for some more builds that are coming up shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye.